spawn in. And we're off. Right, orcs versus dog elves. Good way to start the day. You haven't played Street Fighter since two. I never played. Um, I mean, I played. I remember playing two and Super Turbo back when I was young. Um. And then um, and then I never played. I never played Third Strike, but I kind of got back into it when Number Four came out because the people I like. It was one of them things where. Glad to see I played League yesterday. Yeah, we did. We got some league in, which again is going to continue. We will be doing that occasionally. Um. Wherever we can. How you doing, Black Neck? To the task. Good to see you. Um, but yeah, no, I didn't play... I never played Third Strike. And I never played... Um, you learn so much from trying to find faults in my play. That's good, man. That's good. And honestly, I'm happy for the... Um, like, I'm happy for people to poke holes in what I'm doing. Because it helps me figure out what I'm doing wrong. Like, I don't mind at all. Um... New team, yeah, Jeremy. We might, um, we might, we might do one. We might do. It depends how long the stream goes, but there is a possibility. Even if I don't, like, I might do what I did with the, um, with the Wood Elves. Maybe at the end of the stream, what we'll do is we'll make a new team for next time. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And tea and black. But yeah, all the men's, all the men's. Um, tried listening men. First block of high image. Saw us. Oh God, your Saw is dead. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> the game's out to get you. Um, why would you put a black orc off the uh, off the pitch? Um, he's got one sub. Fairly even, uh, even team value. So he's got the one witch elf with the block and the jump up, and the other witch elf with the wrestle and the jump up. Uh, one very nice blitzer. Oh, he's got. He's got a strength 4 Agi 4 lineman and a strength 4 Agi 4 blitzer. Damn. Some tackle. Sure hands. Blitzer. Nice. He's got some very nice pieces. Uh, but hopefully we should be able to pin him down and kill him. I apologise in advance for my chewing. I have one biscuit that I'm going to eat. <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, you know, like, I don't know, eating on stream, it's not ideal. Just I had uh, again like I've been I mean kind of like I was kind of busy all day, and then, but when I finally finished doing what I was doing, I was like right okay let's just let's just let's just grab a sandwich and then get streaming. Um, uh, let's get that way. Actually, you probably want frenzy guys. You don't want to. Um, so I can go here. Tackle guy can go there. Actually, mighty blow tackle guy can go there. We'll do it that way. We'll do it this way and see what happens. Could go badly, but you know, I may actually say something. The richest tea. You'd be the worst for. Uh, you'd be the worst freak on the stream. It's British. They apologise for everything. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh yes, by all means, Don. I forgot. I did forget. Let's do this. Uh, as you can tell, I was in a bit of a rush. Uh, load preset. Let me just. Uh... Oh. What do you got, KO? That's my guy. Really? Don't let them. They're massive and can take your hand right away. Oh, look at that. That's why I love this game. Well, that sucks. Never mind. Blitz her down.
You know what? Funnily enough, Vorkos, as weird as that sounds, I've seen that. Isn't there some... This I, I read an article about some Korean lady who gets... Who, like, basically streams herself eating meals. And it's like people pretend that they're eating dinner with her or something. And it's all a bit weird. Um, but, yeah, funnily enough, I have heard that. Let's go this way. <laughs> Invincible line elves. Um, he won't leave him alone anytime soon. There are tons of them. Damn. Okay. Yeah, we obviously we obviously haven't quite worked out the way this is supposed to work. We just don't know. There we go. I can't believe he got a KO and I got a Blitzer knocked out. They're gathering around that little place, like halflings round a sandwich. Oh, I wanted another KO. There are tons of people eating fear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people, yeah, no. No, no, none of that. Yes, we don't want anyone eating me. That would be, uh, that would be very disturbing. Right, uh, where are we going to go with this? Where do we want to go here? Well, let's go in this way. They've gone into the opponent's tackle zone. They should be good. That's the strength four guy, damn it. The attacker has an assist. That'll work though. Oh, I would have loved to have injured the strength four guy. Not what you'd expect. Oh, and then we fell the short hands. Never mind. Right. Go, oh go, I don't. I love that. <laughs> Assassins could be our mascots. <laughs> Nosedive is our mascot. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> we will see. We will see. Oh, let's do this. Right. Sorry, I'm all ready now. Yeah, I'll be kind of a... I was in a bit of a... Oh. Where is good old... Uh, where is Agi 4 Blitzer? Have I left him over here? Is he the frenzy guy? He is. Okay. He's about to get punched above and below the belt. At the same yeah, it's very, very, uh, very disappointing that we got to throw a rock at two people and and, <laughs> and the high elf got uh, KO'd and we got injured. But the good thing was at least it was just a, a, a Blitzer. It wasn't like a, a Black Orc. Who's that where... I thought we had a strength five black orc at some point, but obviously not. <laughs> no, Stipe is the mascot for every Blood Bowl 2 stream. I, I wouldn't, you know what, honestly, I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him. He must think those dives like some random secret Blood Bowl 1 star player that he's never heard of. <laughs> right. Uh, you get to stand up. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight.
protect those guys. You'll get an assist now. Well, we kind of we better hope that this works because if it doesn't, we might be in a bit of trouble. Those players are very close. Smells like a fight is about to happen. An average pass. Let's see if it's caught in. There we go. Okay, good. So now I feel like we're in a reasonably good spot. <sighs> How are you doing, Hell's Reach, by the way? Good to see you, my man. You named all your Brett Bre Blitz a nosedive and you had to delete the team because everything died. Yeah, it died. But then again, I don't feel like we can blame that one on nosedive. That's more... We, we probably have to blame that one on, blame that one on Brett's. Uh, how are you doing, Pontus? Good to see you, my man. Good to see you. Gotta love the Orc Parsi. Yeah, well, to be fair, like, when we, like, we're actually playing with an Orc Thrower and we have an Agi 4 Blitzer. So as long as we're passing it specifically to this Blitzer, it's not so bad. Um, it actually works out alright for us. Normally, normally we just let the thrower keep the ball. Because the thrower is strength 4 with block. But I wanted to get down the pitch a little bit. They're getting up close and personal, Bob. You need to be close. So close nice, Min. Smell your That's good. And see the dead insects in your teeth. I hope you do well and uh and crush all who stand before you. <laughs> God, dwarves. Uh, dwarves, gotta love them or hate them. Most people hate them. Move right next to a teammate. Yeah, they get the the bad. The, I say bad. The, the 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 thing about this team is he does actually have two 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 vampires. He has two strength four agi four guys. Look, strength four agi four, strength four agi four. Getting strength up on dark elf blitzers makes them amazing. Like dark elf blitzers are just amazing. With a with a strength up. Uh, which team are we thinking about creating? Honestly, um, any one of the teams we haven't done already. So. The, the ones we haven't done so far are Chaos, Skaven, Dark, and Dark Elf. Um, so one of those three. Um, and then we'll um, we'll just, I don't know, I'll probably do a poll and just let people vote. And whichever one wins, we'll, uh, we'll go that route. Come on, guys. Together. But yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm not particularly uh, fussed either way. I we we haven't we haven't done high elf yet, but I do have a high elf team, and the high elf team is going to be the team. It, very soon, I've got like a weekly round robin league thing that I've entered for like the Blood Bowl Two World Cup qualifiers, um, and high elves are the team we're going to play in that. So for now, I'll just leave the high elf team to do that, and um, and then we'll make the other teams for the like the open league and for messing around with. Um, I didn't I didn't enter um. I didn't enter a Brett's again. You know what? I, might, I I am actually seriously considering... Like, I want to try and get through all the teams. Um, just once, at least. But I am seriously considering playing... Um, playing Brett's again. That's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. Um. More the 
merrier. Let's go. I wonder if I can get this throw all the way up there. Whoa. Nah. Ball is secure. Can the other team steal it away? Huggy doggy. This tactic seems a little dwarfish. Well, yeah, I'm not. I mean, I, I can't really. Like, I can't afford to really not cage against the, the Dark Elves. Because he has two. Like, don't forget, he has two Blitzers who are Agi 4, Strength 4. Like, so he could quite. Like, this guy's. Where's the. The other guy's Agi 4, Strength 4 with dodge. So he could quite easily. If I don't cage, he could quite easily make a couple of dodges and then. Um, and then punch the ball carrier. And yes, we have a we have a human team which we are gonna tr which we are hopefully the plan tomorrow is to be up early enough to stream to stream some Street Fighter in the morning and the early afternoon. And then if it goes, enter the humans in the think fast in the, later on in the day. Um, that would be the plan for tomorrow. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of it depends on how things go and how I'm feeling, but that is the plan. And I like humans. I think humans are a great team. Humans was the first team we played. Um, yeah, and he also yeah, so he also had a he also has a strength four wrestle team. Um, so when you say cripple cup, what um, what's yeah? Sorry, I, maybe there is a cripple cup. So I don't know. Whatever cup is on tomorrow, we'll play in it. And what's the cripple cup? I'm not sure of the rules for the cripple cup. Did I use the third person for myself? I don't. I don't know. Did I? Uh, what do I? What do I think of human catches? I like human catches. Crot DVA. I'm gonna call you Crot if that's okay. Crot, thank you very much for the follow. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm glad you are enjoying the stream, and I hope you enjoyed your little goblin dance. Much obliged, good sir. Basic rules are no dwarfs. No one gets an apo. You can. You can't fire any player regardless of injury. All right. Okay. Well, I could always knock up a. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's any spaces left in that. I don't know. We'll see. If there is a cup on tomorrow that we can enter the human team in, we will do it. If not, we'll just play some Blood Bowl as normal. It's not the end of the world. Um, but we'll um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, what um, what was there? Was another question somewhere? Uh, yeah, the human catches one. I like human catches, and you can human ta catches. You can go one of two ways, and both ways are pretty good in my opinion. You can either just turn into turn him into an out and out deep threat. Uh, if you're lucky enough to get if you're lucky enough to get plus movement on one, you can go like the plus movement sprint sure feet route, um, sidestep. That's always good. Try and turn one of them into a into a one turner. Um, if if you, you can also, if you manage to get a strength up on one, you can go the the sort of nerves of steel block route and turn and still turn him into a deep threat, but make him a bit of a sturdier deep threat. Um, you can also turn him into a ball hawk. You could go the wrestle strip ball um, and and dauntless route. That's good. Um, and then you can also turn him into a safety. Just go like tackle, diving tackle, and just have him in your backfield um, to chase down gutter runners and the like. I, I think human catches are very good and can be used in a lot of different ways. Um, a lot of which of uh, a lot of the a lot of the ways are very viable as well. Blood step, blood side step, diamond tackle. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they can be a real nuisance to deal with. Even though they're strength two, they can be a real nuisance to deal with, without a doubt. Uh, you lost me after Rob, Jim. Don't talk to me for the next few downs. That player just won't go down. Right. Oh, 
Come on. You're a mighty blow black orc. Punch something hard. Um, the stun helps though. Because it means we can cage up from here. Maybe. Maybe. Please don't fall over. No, don't fall over. Oh, we got plenty of reels. Gonna work. Okay. Please, Fel, go for it with Black Hawk animation. <laughs> I will do my best. I will do my best. Best not to compare cats to gut gutter runners. No, but you know... <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. I just think they're um I just think they're very good like uh, in relation to just catcher specifically though. I think they I think they definitely fill a very a very good role in a human team. It's the short of it. Uh, how much is they I am good steamboat. I am good. I'm good. I felt a bit rough earlier on, but that's why that's why the stream started a bit late and I had some stuff I needed to get done. But apart from that, we are good. We are here now, we are blood bowling. And we are hopefully gonna be at it for a while. How are you? How are you good sir? Get in their face. It's games like this, you need more diving tackle. That's all we need, more diving tackle. Late stream, best stream. Indeed, indeed. Hopefully, uh, the only thing I've got to be worried about is my niece and nephew are, are staying around tonight. And my nephew's only like one, and my niece is only five. So, I'm going to try and stream as late as I can. The only thing that would stop me streaming is if, uh, is if I wake them up. If I wake them up, then... <laughs> then I'll have to then I'll have to call it a night. But I should be alright. I should be alright. <coughs> Problem with human catches as soon as you meet someone tackle they can't dodge and strength too. Uh, yeah, we did it we did it a lot over Christmas. We just haven't um we haven't done it lately. Occasionally we slip one in there. It just it kinda depends how many sleeping pattern goes. Uh, but yeah, you are right. Late, lately, we haven't really done... Mind you, yesterday we went on till midnight, I think. There were thereabouts. Um, but yeah, it depends how it, uh, it... It depends how it goes. And it also depends what time we start the stream. Like, we've, lately, we've been starting pretty early. Stream forever. I would I would like... That would be good. Just be a... Stream is love. Stream is life. Yeah, just be a streaming machine. Okay, he keeps burning rerolls on dodges, which is not the not the worst thing for us. Can we make us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? We could just we could score here. Could maybe score here. Mm, yeah, smells like a good old-fashioned fight. Loosen the cage and let the pretty little dove, I mean the ball carrier, hmm. go.
Hmm. I don't know. I feel like we might. I feel like we might score here. I suppose we could. We could still protect the ball pretty well, but then. Hmm. No, maybe we don't. Building a cage around the ball here. Maybe we Solid don't. Maybe we take another turn and uh I don't know. I feel like this is a little bit of a risk not scoring here while we have the chance. But with the Agi 4 guy, I feel like we can score reasonably quickly wherever we want. Uh, and and we kind of want the opportunity to base up a load of load of load of the dark elves and make them make a load of dodges and whatnot. So we'll see. We'll see. Your, tr <laughs> Your dream is to have two multi buck assassins for the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Oh, that would be absolutely atrocious. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. And how you doing, Nori, by the way? Hello, 2 2. <clears throat> yeah, if we do make a Dark Elf team, I almost certainly won't be playing it. Well, you know what? No, saying that, I'm about, I was about to say we won't be playing an Assassin. But then again, when we made the Wood Elf team, we ended up playing a tree. So we probably will be playing an Assassin just because people will want an Assassin. And if we do get an Assassin, we will almost certainly call it Nosedive. Just because why would we not? Every other player in the team, we will auction off. Well, we, all, we will raffle off the names. But the, if we get an assassin, it's being called nosedive, without a doubt. You want to be a sexy witch elf, okay? Does multi bot stab get a minus two on it? No, it just you just get literally two stab rolls. I think. You just go like stab stab and be done with it. I don't think they get plus two to anything because they're not because it's not a block roll. Safety and um, oh, the straight up pow that hurts. Yeah. That straight up pow really hurts. You'd rather be a blitzer. Yeah, we might be able to make that work. As I say, like when we do it, we'll just um we will just auction off the whole uh the whole kit and caboodle. We will just put, do a raffle, everyone can enter, and then we'll um And then we'll just pick out pick out the winners at random. And name them as we go along. Whoa. That was a delayed reaction. Yeah, we need them to foul some of these dodges. That would be the ideal. We do get two punches now, which is good. Look at him, twinkle toes there. Yeah, we need some of these to turn into uh, injuries, though. He has wrestle strength four. He has guard tackle. That's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. Yeah, we kind of got it really. Don't roll a one. The attacker has an assist. Oh, come on. Turn these into injuries, game. He's mighty blow as well. Always, every time we break armor, we get crappy injury rolls. Um, never mind. Actually, that was probably a... Oh, no. It's okay. 
We put a guy in here. We go in there. Ah, sod it. This, this is a bit of a risk, but we're going to do it anyway. Let's punch some, um, punch some more elves. Actually, he probably gets two dice against my ball carrier now because I've bodged this up, but nah. I knew he was going to be able to get two dice, and I did it anyway because I was like, yeah, no, it'd be all right. But, you know, tackle. So sweet. Or was that just a snake eyes? Ah, oh, snake eyes. So sweet. This guy got great dice. Unity is strength. <laughs> There we go. Finally got an injury. Nice. On a blitzer as well, which is great. That was a bad, uh, that was a bad block to take. I, look, thought, I looked at that the wrong way round. I thought we had the uh, block. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's all, it's all just, it's all going well now. Oh, minus Adji. He's got to apo that. He didn't apo it. Oh. What's he doing? Saving his, saving his, uh, thing for wood elves or something. Okay, so if we score now, we give them one turn. I give them two turns. But if we don't score now, it's going to be pretty awkward for him, I think. What's he got? One, two, three, four. And he can't cover that much ground, I don't think. Yeah, he wouldn't have the... Um, I don't think he's going to have the movement to block us over here, so... Oh, my God. Oh, for anyone that didn't see it, what team was it? Who was we against? Was we against dwarves, or was we against? We, we were playing. I think we were playing our dwarves, and we were against orcs. And he had Morg. He got Morg as an inducement, and it is the single greatest performance I've ever seen by any player ever. Like he literally, Morg. This is what Morg did to win him the game, or to to, to stop me drawing the game. He he dodged away from a guy in midfield. Blocked the guy, blocked the ball carrier on over here, on on over here, right? We had the ball here and we was going to score. Morg was here. He did a dodge, blocked the guy, knocked the ball carrier down, picked the ball up, and then it was my turn. I sent four guys at Morg to get my two dice. He survived it. Next turn, he blitzed his way out, dodged again, ran downfield. 
Next turn, I sent my Death Roller at him, and my Death Roller rolled quad skulls, so he not he handed off my Death Roller, and I put and I had other guys on him, so he blitzed away again, and then I couldn't catch him. Like literally, it was amazing. It was amazing. And even though I lost that game, I'm 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 just, I'm just still happy to have seen it. It was great. I cannot get over how spectacular it was. <laughs> even now, oh, I was amazing. Uh, is there any way? Is this this guy doesn't have sidestep or anything? The strength four guy. Surely there is no way that we don't try and surf the strength four guy as we score. Surely. Not a wise place to end your turn on the border of the pitch. If the player gets pushed into the crowd. Well, the last time that happened, it took three days to piece the body back has to, It has to happen. Like, there's no way we don't. There's no way we don't do this. Uh, is there any two dice, easy little two dice blocks we can get anywhere else? Although I suppose no. No, no, no. Because so, so, even though I'd like to take some more punches, surfing the strength four guy is way more important. Um, and because we actually need to roll like that. That's really risky. The fans. That'll do. No, I only got KO'd, which is a shame. But uh. Yeah, that's why that that's why I did that reroll first because to, I, I figured just in case because we actually need either a defender stumbles or power. We still like we had a 50-50 on each dice with a reroll, so it was still pretty safe. Because defender down, power or push all work. So God, he didn't get his knockouts back, so we're uh, we're reasonably safe against the one turner. I feel. Um, okay. I'm not sure if he can even one turn touchdown us, but just in case. Sixty-six percent per dice. Was it? Was it sixty-six? I thought it was fifty-fifty because uh, we needed we needed a push, a defender stumbles, or a. We would have been very pissed by a double snake guy. Yeah, the J Dub. We would have been annoyed by the double snake guys, but at the end of the day, like it, I, I've always said, like I don't. I, I am not I don't play the game accounting for double snake eyes. As far as I'm concerned, if you, you, like I play the game trying I try and minimize the risk. So in if in theory what I did should have worked. If it doesn't work, then so be it. We got a little bit unlucky. But it, it should work, so I play like it's going to work. <laughs> you know, it might not be the best way to do it, but that's Oh, 60 on each with a re Okay, I thought it was I thought it was 50, well, 50, if you got a 50% with the reroll, it would have been 75, wouldn't it? On each? Well, either way. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. No, no. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Well, which, whichever way. But, yeah, I figure, I figure it was pretty um, pretty safe. You got anything cool to bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, box, ba -dum, ba -dum. other than old blood ball matches, Jim? Uh, yes. And it doesn't even look like he's going to go for the one-turner. I don't think he can anyway, but he's just going to load up the line and try and get a couple of punches, which I don't blame him for. I'm really surprised he didn't... Um, it, unless unless the guy was... Yeah, I mean, he's, he had a level 3 blitzer that he got. Oh, no, it was only a level 2, I suppose. <coughs> That's why he didn't appo him, because it's only level 2. Um, and he didn't roll a double. I, I assume that he's just going to save his appo every game for his vampires. Like I, I think on this team, if you've got if you've got a strength four agi four blitzer, 
And I think he has two as well. I think the other one got... He's got one there, and he's got another lineman. Strength 4, Agi 4 lineman. I think on this team, you just save your Apo for the Strength 4, Agi 4 guys. And you quite, you would quite happily sacrifice anyone else to keep them alive. Because they're just so good. Like, Strength 4, Agi 4 is beastly. Come on, guys. Together. And <clears throat> I actually wouldn't go funnily enough like this guy this guy has wrestle dodge on his lineman and this wrestle dodge this is what we did on our wood elf lineman but on dark elves I wouldn't I don't think I would go wrestle dodge on the lineman I think I would go block dodge because I feel like the um I feel like dark elves because they have a lot of AVA can actually do a bit better at punching people than the wood elves Maybe I'm wrong in that. Maybe it's just because I haven't played Dark Elves. I feel like they're a bit better. But I do um, I do feel like you don't necessarily need to go as much wrestle on the Dark Elves as you, as you do on the Wood Elves. <coughs> How do I defend against a one-turn gutter runner with ten men and sprint as escaping yourself? Um, <coughs> oh... Pardon me. I don't, um... I, to be honest, I haven't played Skaven yet. Um, I've never played Skaven in my life. It, all, all of the team, like, apart from when I first started playing Blood Bowl 2, I'd only really played humans. All these teams, we're just kind of learning as we go. Um, my, my instinct is if, if the guy has a one-turner, you can kind of, uh, you can kind of go one or two ways. You... Uh, the way the way I would try and beat a one turner is you don't really play around the fact that he's got a one turner. If he scores like if he wants to score in one turn, it's not necessarily the worst thing for you. Like because if he say I'm playing, I mean you'll play. You said you was playing Skaven against Skaven. If he say the way the game goes is he gets the ball first and he scores in one turn. Well that's okay because then you get seven turns to score back and then you get the ball again and you can just try and waste the clock. And then if he and if he scores, if he manages to score another one turner, and you draw two two, so be it. Um, that can happen. But I don't know. I I honestly, I mean, there are probably people who play Skaven a lot more or play against Skaven a lot more who are or, or who are better at the game than I am. That could give you a better idea of how you defend against a natural one turner. It's very hard. I found it very hard. Um, yeah. The other thing is, yes, there is always that option. Like honestly, if you have. If you have normally, if he's got a one turner, he's gonna be um, like an armor value seven guy, pretty squishy. So when you've got the ball, do your best to hunt it down and punch it, and even foul it if you have to. Like if you have to foul it, foul it. Like if you've got a crappy lineman, and you can you can go stand on the stand on the one turner, go stand on his head. Like just just kill it. Um, I think trying to defend against it without killing it is very very is very much a. Uh, you know, you're gonna find that you're gonna find that a struggle. Um. You have a ten movement sprint leap guy, and he's oh god. We have a we have a we have a we have a ten we have a skink who's ten movement sprint sure feet, and he's amazing. Like he he, he, he can score from anywhere. <laughs> All you have to do is just sneak him into their half, and all of a sudden it's like hand the ball off score. <laughs> just does it. Rip the head off this kid. He's flipped in the changing rooms before the game, so just for fun, I shot the ball down his throat and then lobbed his whole body in the end. But yeah, Alvaz, uh, like it, it is. Don't get me like it's really hard. It is really hard to um. To, to, when you like, it is really hard to just stop a one turn, a one turn, a one turn touchdown guy from doing what he does. It's very, it's, it is rough. Um, the the best defense against it, honestly, is to is to try and dedicate some of your team to killing him whilst you have the ball, or you know, when if he scores in one turn and you've got seven turns then to to keep hold of the ball, keep hold of it and just try and kill it. You know, kick it, punch it, stamp on it, do what you can. <laughs> If you get unlucky and you either can't catch him or you can't um, you can't get to him or you just get unlucky with the injury rolls, then you know you you're kind of going to have games like that occasionally. But definitely, uh, definitely try and stamp on him a bit. Need to be close, so close they can smell your breath and see 
Oh, this blitzer. This blitzer. The good thing is he didn't get a lot of uh, he didn't get a lot of his players back, which is good. Wood Elf one turn. Yeah, I, I, yeah, there is that sea lass. A lot of people don't put their one turners on the field. Like again, I, 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 this is. I, I would actually be interested to what chat says then. I mean, do you? There, there are a lot of situations where, <clears throat> the way, the way I would do it. I, all right then, uh, like um. Like Silas says, a lot of people don't put their one-turners on the field. So assuming that you never get a chance to hit the one-turner, um, the, the, the way, I suppose, the best way I would describe it is this. Is that if it's early in the game and the guy wants to score in one turn, then so be it. Like, you, if I, say, if I had a couple of blitzers with tackle, I would let him defend deep. And if he tries to do the one turn, and it works, fair enough, he scored in one turn, you now have the ball. If he tries to get the, if he tries to score in one turn and it doesn't work, then you're in a really good spot. Because he sent one guy down the field, like if he fails to go for it or anything like that, then you're in a really good spot. Um, so, uh, you, like, if it's early in the game, you just let him do it. And if it's late in the game, you just do what I did there, spread your players out as best you can, and, and hope it messes up, really. Um... Sounds a bit, uh, sounds a bit crazy to be like, yeah, just hope it goes wrong. But, but that is kind of the general gist of it. They've gone into the opponent's tackle some. That should be good. That player is about to get punched above and below the <clears throat> at the same time. One turns a, it ruins your two run grind. Oh yeah, no, yeah, but. <clears throat> By the same token, you can um it, it depends when you say it ruins a two run grind, it does to an extent. But by the same token, you do get a lot of turns to, to punch his team. Like I, I don't get me wrong, I get what you're saying. If, if the guy manages to pull off two one turn touchdowns in a in a game, then you know, like I say, it's not easy to defend against. Like you're, you've you've kind of just got to accept the fact that that's his game plan, and it may well be that his game plan works for him. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely not easy. It's definitely not easy. But it's just a combo. Yeah, I, the best way I can explain it without actually playing against the guy is it's a combination of, you know. Try and kill the one turn touch touchdown guy whenever you can. You know, if you get a chance to stamp on him, stamp on him and and the like. Um, and and then use your opportunities when you've got the ball to punch punch the punch his team as often as possible. Um, give them a hiding and see how it goes. Kennedy, good to see you, my man. A guy, to be funny enough, actually, what I would say is if you're worried about the one turn guy, um, get a guy with kick on your team. Get a, get, a, get a guy with kick on your team. Because it does help. Because if he's setting up for a one turn touchdown um, and he's got the. Um, say, say he's got his one turn touchdown guy here on the line so that he can score one turn and he's got his guy here who's going to pick the ball up. It actually helps you to be able to kick the ball into the corner here or over here because then the guy who wants to pick the ball up has to run over here and get it and then somehow try and throw it to the guy who does the one-turner. Like, the more distance you can put between the ball and the one-turn guy, the better. Um, so... That helps, and yeah, like like C like Silas says, you just you basically just try and put the hurt on his team as much as possible. Try and get the one dice guy on the pitch, and then try and kick him to death. <laughs> that's, that's the uh, if we hopefully if we ever come up against the scaping team today or anyone like that, we will try and uh, try and put it into practice. Uh, we're not always great at it, but we will try and put it into practice. Yeah, it, it, that, yeah, it's not um. Need to be close. It's not always easy, like Eric says. It certainly is not always easy. Do 
The thing is, though, if 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 you are against a low TV rat team, then it's unlikely that he's going to have a level five gutter rat with movement, movements, your feet, sprints, and the, and and the works. Oh. Need more diving tackle. That's what we need. More diving tackle. I can't wait till we get more diving tackle. <laughs> no, I just, after having diving tackle on our door team, I love diving tackle. It's so much fun. He doesn't have guard, so we can still surf this uh, witch elf. Oh no, we can't because she got sidestep. Never mind. Oh, oh no, we, yeah, we can't do it anyway because of the sidestep. So we will. Hmm. She has dodge wrestle and he has just nothing. So he's the one that's going to get punched. The players arrive to assist their teammate. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> Diving tackle is really good because of the way it works. Oh yeah, sorry. Did anyone? Does any? Yeah. If you know the specifics of diving tackle, please let me know because um because we um the the, the what was happening yesterday was weird. So we did not know um, what was going on. Why it, why it kept saying, oh, this one fails and this bloody, bloody, blah. blah. That's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. Predictable. Oh, he didn't have to reroll. Boring, but it's the results that matter. If the Witch Elf makes a dodge, she's gone. Yeah, I don't really care, to be honest. Like, I actually, if he wants to score now, I, I'm i fine with that. Like, I'm actually fine with that. That is perfectly good for me. I will quite happily surf this guy, chase the Witch Elf, and then make him score next turn, and then take my six turns to, to win 2-1. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. I don't really see that as a as a problem. The opponent makes his dodge roll first, then you get to choose the minus minus roll if it would trip him. Oh yeah, yeah, no, he does that. But the the, re the, the weird thing yesterday was it was saying, um, yeah, the witch has sidestep, so we can't surf her. Unfortunately, we might be able to double surf these guys though. I might be able to surf this one and this one. Maybe this one doesn't have sight. Maybe this one as well now. No, maybe not that one. But these two, almost certainly. Depending on where... Yeah. We might be able to surf this one and this one. This one's got wrestle, which is a bit of a problem. But... You guard guy in there, probably. There we go. 
like halflings round a sandwich. One more step and... That's a dangerous place to be. Ah, we only got one. Never mind. That's hundreds. Even Siege. Could have got both. <laughs> yeah, so the, the weird thing that was happening yesterday um, was that, like, it was doing the role, but they're not, like, it, it would look like they failed the role, but then they wouldn't get, they wouldn't fall over. That was the weird part. That's what we couldn't quite understand, why what was going on. I'll oh, see if we ever when we're playing on a when we're playing on a on our team with with mighty with a diving tackle again next time. We I will I'll, if it happens I will show you because it, it was weird yesterday. What was happening was like he would do the dodge and we would we would get the opportunity to do diving tackle and then we would diving tackle. We'd end up on the floor, but he'd just run away from us anyway, even though it looked like he failed his dodge roll. Without tackle, they used. They get to use dodge to re-roll, and he failed dodge. I don't know. It's hard to... I don't know. I don't know. It's all a bit strange. I, that doesn't... Yeah, I, I remember you saying that at the time, but it didn't... Like, the dice rolls didn't look like it went that way, funnily enough. It was a bit It was a bit strange. It's like killing an archer. Remove the layers before you get to the good stuff. Yeah, it's, no, but the, yeah, the guy we had though had diving tackle and tackle, diving tackle and tackle, and it was all a bit, it was all a bit odd. It didn't, um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, if it if it comes up again, we'll see, and uh, we'll see. It, it was more just the fact that the the way it worked is like in the dice log. Yeah, exactly. In the dice log, it said it said dodge four plus, and he rolled a three, and it says failed. But then the guy dodges anyway. That's the weird part. Like it, it's a bit, it's a bit weird the way the dice log, uh, the dice log sets it out. Uh, so he's missing a few. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Okay. We can do this. Uh, because a diving tackle was the roll that failed. Is diving tackle a roll though? I thought diving tackle was just. I don't know. Yeah, it, it was all a bit odd. It was all a bit odd. But yeah, we'll, I'm sure it will come up again. At some point, we'll, we'll show you. Because we saw it twice yesterday. Twice. Um, there was two times where it said dodge four plus failed because the guy rolled a three and he dodged out anyway. And my diving tackle guy ended up on the floor. And it happened once to us as well. We dodged. We dodged. And the guy diving tackled, and the diving tackle went off, but we ran away anyway. It was all it's all a bit it's all a bit strange at times, uh, the diving tackle thing. Yeah, exactly. I'll find out. I'll find out afterwards. Um, was it the very first one? Yeah, I might have a look. I might have a look at some point. Um, well, this is good. Um, we just need to figure out where good old. Where's good old Agi Four Blitz? So see the one over here. That's kind of iffy. Come on, guys. Together. That's it. Force them back and then pow! Nice. Get off the beach. Yeah. That player shuffling off the field. Possibly off the tool point. Oh. Get them star player points. You get them star player points. You get them. You got it, man. 
Have you got a tackle? You do. Okay. Yeah, I might try and um, I don't know. I might try and find it. I might try and find it ne next time. I'll try and find. It. Or I might. I might try and find it in the yesterday's video and then highlight it, and then and then people can have a look at it and see. Because I, I at the time I definitely was like I looked at the I looked at the dice roll like three or four times trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, the bug is you roll dodge. It's low enough for deity to proc, so you fail. They don't have tackle, so your dodge skill go activate and you re-roll before every... Right. Yeah. The, honestly, RJ, what you're saying seems like the... Seems like the most logical thing. And, and and what what it's doing is, when you when you look in the, in the dice log, or the double skull, when you look in the dice log, it looks like diving tackle is applying, because it says, oh, dodge 4+. plus. But if he rolls a 3, because it's higher than 2... It, it, it's thinking the dodge succeeds somehow. Um, is that yeah? It's like it, like you say that's probably the most uh, the most reasonable explanation. around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? How many times we got four? So we need to get a bit of a move on, at least. This formation gives them a safe progression. It's going to be hard to make them lose the ball. Well, the, the not letting your team re-roll a failed pro roll, I thought, was the way it was intended to be. You either get one or the other. I thought I thought you either got a chance to use pro or use the team re-roll. I don't think I didn't think you could use both, but or is it using a team re-roll to re-roll the pro roll? Risks a turnover. Yeah, I don't think. I, what I what I don't what I think you can't do. I I don't think you can like use pro and then if it fails, then use a team reroll. 
Like, I don't think you can do that. I think the only way that Pro and a team re-roll would work in the same turn is if you used Pro and you rolled a 1 to see if you could use the re-roll. And you use the team re-roll to re-roll the actual Pro re-roll. Like Celeste says, yeah, that's the only that's the only part of Pro that you can re-roll the four plus the the original four plus. Um, other than that, you are pretty much. Unity is strength. Oh yeah, you can re-roll something else afterwards. Yeah. Um, Ko helps. Oh, you can't do that in Blood Bowl 2. Is that, is that not working either? Okay. Uh, where do we want to go? That's just a normal lineman. That's a strength 4 edgy 4 wrestle guy. So we might have to deal with him. He has dodge. So we'd very much like to get tackle guy to deal with him. Why would you make me go that way, game? Why would that... Why is that a dodge? Oh, because of this guy first. In that case, then you go... The attacker has an assist. This is a little bit risky. Okay, let's see what happens. It's a bit risky. He could he could dodge a load of guys round, but that's a lot of dodges and he still needs two assists to be able to get two dice, so we'll see. And he can't use dodge rerolls because they're pretty much... They're all going to be near. They're all going to go... Like, these guys are in a bit of a pickle. He can't get round there unless he goes... Like, and makes a ton of dodges. So the Witch Elf's kind of the only one that can make it. And that'll be two dice uphill. <coughs> There's a couple pretty good players on the field, Jim. They're just hiding behind all the Yeah, so when I say a bit a bit risky, I just mean like, you know, there is it does leave the possibility that he could get round the side and get me. Like it's gonna be hard for him, but it it's it's doable with a lot of rolls. <coughs> Toyin were taking pro on the war dancers. Yeah, they do take a ton of a ton of rolls. But I've also found like um I've also found with the war dancers that although they take a ton of rolls, more often than not, apart from the leap rolls. You just don't want to roll ones. Um. Very nice. Oh, good look, look at that. The clock's ticking. The final oh, whistle well. is moments away, and yet the score is in. But now he has to get all the way around here. Ugh, oh, that's just. So he gets his one dice at least. I can't. I can't help that he made a billion rolls. Nuffles balls, Jim. They're going for the ball. Yeah. That sucks. What's that all about? Dodge failure, re-roll dodge failure. Oh, that's from before. Dodge three, dodge two, dodge two, dodge two, dodge two. Yeah. Oh well. It's just a shame the one dice pal worked. That's the problem. We might be able to get ourselves out of this. And that's why I said that that was a little bit risky, because there is always the opportunity, the, the possibility that elves just do elf things. 
But I had to get a move on. I couldn't afford to just hang around um, and not. Right, first things first then. You have to get out of the way. We don't really care about you. Um... That's fine. Look off. Intimidation is the key. It's one of my strengths. I, I kind of want you out of the way. I suppose I could do it this way. This is the one we want to. She does have. She does. She doesn't have sidestep either. So that's good. kind of need to go down. Shame we can't get her with a tackle guy. He got guard. He does. So we need this guy to go down first. Ugh. She doesn't have guard. Why is that? Oh, is that a strength 4 guy? It is. Just got rid of the whole ball thing and got straight to the maiming. <laughs> that would be blood. Without the bow. It's just blood. Okay. You can see that any time if I want. I can? <laughs> Let's go. He tries to secure the ball. Push back. <laughs> Not over. Okay, right, okay, time to get a move on. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. <laughs> Not enough tackle throws on that ball. Now the opposing team has paid. And that's how we roll. Touch Whoa. Touch Sometimes too many turns is a bit on the tight side when I'm when I think too much. You don't want to be using pro on a foul deep. Yeah, more often than not, you want to be using your actual reroll on the on the leap. You had to get pro on a storm firming because he refused to roll doubles. Yeah, exactly. It only took me one minute, 58 seconds. I was pretty quick. Pretty quick. Yeah, so, but when earlier on, when someone was like, someone was saying, "Oh, if 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 you leave the side open, um, then the witch elf will run down the side and score." Um, the, my this is just to kind of try and explain my thought process when I'm playing like orcs versus agi teams. If I get the ball in the first half and I manage to I manage to score in turn eight and we go in, say we're one nil up. At the, at the beginning of the second half and then it's the elves turn to get the ball my mentality in the second half is always this i go like i aggressively try and get a hold of the ball oh, that's two two injuries of two thrown rocks this game uh, i i aggressively go after the ball and when i aggressively go after the ball i want one of two things to happen i either want to 
put enough pressure on them that I steal the ball off them, or put so much pressure on them that they have to score quickly. Um, because either way, I feel like I'm in a good spot. If I get the ball off them, I'm in a good spot to win 2-0. And if I make them score quickly, I'm in a reasonably good spot to either win 2-1 or draw 1-0. Um, so that's why I kind of did it the way I did it. Like I, I knew that there was always the risk that he could dodge out, hand off to the Witch Elf, and then the Witch Elf could run away. But I figured that was a worthwhile risk because if he does that, then he's in a position where he cannot stall and he has to score. And I've got like five, six turns to try and score a second one. Um, may, I don't. Maybe other people do it different ways. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure there are a lot of people who try and score one nil and then try and um, just stall the stall the dark elves for eight turns. But I always find it easier to let them score quickly and then score myself than it than it is to try and stall them for eight turns. Um, did he apo? Did he actually apo? Yeah. Did he, he apo? Did he apo in this next game? I don't know. Like he 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 strangely didn't apo the. Uh, I didn't think he apoed his minus Agi Blitzer, but maybe he did. But yeah, Apo, I, I don't think he apoed the... Like this, I'm pretty sure that this Blitzer got minus Agi. Or at least one of his guys got minus Agi. So he might have apoed that That's one. It. Pick up the ball. Apparently it's more difficult than it seems. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're talking about a... Uh, oh, a le level 7 catcher leapt into a death. Jesus. Oh. Good old turn 16 foul. Everyone knows how I love this. I really don't mind it. I don't mind paying for my victories in blood. I know Bob. Stamping on the player's head is not... Right, good start to the day. Good start. To the day. Good solid victory. Your ogre died to a turn sixteen foul. Damn. <laughs> oh. Wild Minaras appears indeed. Uh, yeah, let's re-roll. Why not? We might upgrade the stadium for a laugh. Go off. That thrower. Did we get any... Uh, I don't think we got... Oh, we did get a level up. On who, I wonder? Maybe it was one of our linemen. Oh, that was our Blitzer again. This is the Frenzy guy. I'd, I, would, I would very much love jump up on this guy. Never mind. Uh, strength. I assume we go piling on. This is going to be the frenzy. Uh... We could go. Mm. We could go juggernaut. I suppose here it's a choice between juggernaut and pil piling on. We could go juggernaut for the extra surfs. Or we could go grab. Oh no, we can't go grab and frenzy. That's right. We could go juggernaut. It's a, cross it's a choice between juggernaut and piling on. But with I don't think we have any piling on yet. So... Piling on would probably help. Fixed goal. Juggernaut. Okay, we could go Juggernaut on this one. You know what we'll do then? We'll go Juggernaut on this one, and we'll go Piling on on this one, and we'll see how it. And we'll see how it happens. We'll see how see how that works. Because we uh, a lot of ma uh, mainly because we never really take um we never really take Juggernaut. We haven't taken Juggernaut on any of our other teams or pieces. So I feel like this is a good opportunity to try it out and see what see what it's like. Well, you can't be the um, And then we can use him to hopefully blitz some people off the pitch. Size, though, or else you don't get enough fries. And then we will take um We will take piling on on this guy, because this guy has tackle as well. So we can use like the tackle piling on guy to hit like kill all the AV7 squishies. And then we can use this guy to serve some serve some guys off the pitch, hopefully. He's quite a, a smart orc man. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Let's do this. We haven't... Um, yeah, we, we have...